Princess Cruises brought a brand new controversial stateroom category to The Sun Princess. I got a first-hand look. I'm going to tell you the good, the bad, and if a cabana mini suite is worth it for you. Thanks so much for joining us today. My name is Jared and this is JJ Cruise. Jordan is upstairs booking your cruise vacations. If you want to book your cruise vacation through us, please do so at jjcruise.com. We'd love to help you out with your upcoming cruise vacation, maybe on board the Sun Princess, which is the topic of today. I was able to tour the brand new Cabana Mini Suite cabins on board the brand new Sun Princess cruise ship, which is the largest cruise ship for Princess Cruises. Now, if you're not familiar with what a cabana cabin is, well, this is something that has been tried out by other cruise lines as well. A lot of cruise lines have got a lot of flack for these types of staterooms, and they're highly controversial online. You can just go onto Reddit or Cruise Critic, and you can see the polarizing positions of these types of staterooms. But for Sun Princess, well, it's a little different than what we have seen before. Before we get into the good and the bad, and whether or not I recommend it for you, please subscribe to the channel. It's free for you, means the world to us. And while you're at it, hit that thumbs up. Before I get into the good and the bad, I have to just give a preface of what's included in a cabana mini suite and what is different from a traditional balcony stateroom. On board the Sun Princess, we had a deluxe balcony. This is one of your traditional ocean view balcony categories. And when we toured the cabana mini suites, we noticed that there are a lot of similarities and then there are unique differences that we need to point out. The main cabin is very similar to that of the deluxe balcony. In fact, we didn't see much difference at all. Where the differences lie is past that of where you would go out into your balcony if you were on an ocean view balcony. Instead of just a balcony being right outside of your bed or your sofa, you have this new add-on, which is a cabana. In this cabana is a second TV, a nice lounging sofa space. And on the other side of this cabana space is your actual balcony. What we have seen that's different on Sun Princess than on some other cruise lines is that you don't have just one type of cabana mini suite or cabana cabin. In fact, you can have a traditional ocean view balcony, or you can have one of these more usual cabana cabins that go out into a private deck. This private cabana deck is only meant for those people with cabana mini suites on Sun Princess. Now this private cabana deck has unique lounge furniture, lounge chairs, as well as private hot tubs. There's one on each side, so you have two private hot tubs and plenty of lounge chairs and furniture items to really take in the sun and views while sailing away or at sea. So let's start off with the good and then I'll get into the bad as well as if I believe this would be for us and who it is meant for coming on board Sun Princess. Believe it or not, when we got in these cabins, we loved the cabana space. Now the cabana space is not big by any means, but it's separate. This is not within your same stateroom. It does have that wall of glass in between with a door. So if you're one that may have kids or you may have a spouse that likes to stay up late or wake up early, it's a really nice space to get away from the main bed situation and enjoy some early morning cartoons or TV or late night reads in the cabana. Another great thing, and I mentioned this briefly before, Sun Princess has done a very unique thing by adding so many different types of deck levels to where you can have this cabana access, but not be right on the cabana deck. Typically, a lot of the bad in reviews of other cruise lines comes with lack of privacy. The fact that people could literally be right outside your balcony and see right into your actual cabin. 
Well, this is not a problem on Sun Princess for two reasons. One being you can have a traditional ocean view balcony. Even though the main cabana decks are on deck nine, there are actually stateroom categories that are cabana mini suites on decks 10 and other decks as well. What this means is you can have your traditional private ocean view balcony as well as your cabana add on and not have to be right off where all the public space is for the private cabana deck. We personally love this and would probably book one of these cabins in the future on Sun Princess because you get the best of both worlds. You get a private ocean view balcony with the add-on of the cabana. Speaking of the private cabana decks, both times that we went and toured these areas, we found there to be barely anyone there. In fact, no one was there both times we went. Now, of course, this isn't gonna be true at all times of the day or on all sailings, but what we love and what we really felt like we found from this is that since there's a limited amount of cabins that have access to this, there are not going to be an overcrowding of people on these private decks like you could see elsewhere on the ship, like the main pool deck. Speaking of the privacy factor, that is the main concern from a lot of other people on other cruise lines. Well, we were happy to see that when we toured these decks, Besides the outdoor balcony portion on the actual private cabana deck, you could not really see into the actual cabanas or staterooms of guests. The reflective glass does a lot for this, but also the fact there are curtains. And even if you saw any bit into the cabana, it is almost impossible to see all the way through into the stateroom itself. This is a really good thing because that is the main complaint that people have on other cruise lines today. Lastly, for the good, there are not just cabana mini suites, but reserve collection cabana mini suites. What this means is if you want to have access to the reserve collection restaurant, or if you want to have some of the nicer things in life that come with the reserve collection, you can actually have that as well as have the cabana mini suite. This is a really good thing for those that want the finer things in life and is a nice thing to have as an option for your vacation. That was the good, now let's talk about the bad. And are you ready for it? Surprisingly enough, the bad is only one thing. This is rare for JJ Cruz, we typically find all of the nooks and crannies of the bad here and just make sure you're well aware of what you need to look out for when booking your cruise. And the only thing we could find that was truly a bad or could be a concern for you is if you book on deck nine. Now we know that the private deck space for the cabanas are on deck nine, but with the hallways being for the public spaces to get from midship to forward, we found that those hallways could be a little more congested and may have a little more noise than most other hallways. The beauty of this is that you don't have to book your cabana mini suite on deck nine. You can book it on deck 10 or one of the other decks that's included for the cabana mini suites and really get away from that corridor for a majority of your time. That was the bad. We really find these cabana mini suites to be actually really cool and something that we would love to book in the future. So who is it for and who was it built for? Well, to be honest with you, there's very few people that it's not built for, but I'm gonna focus on a few areas. One, multi-generational families or families in general. I already mentioned it with the cabana. I can see us one day having kids and the kids may want to go and watch TV when they wake up and dad and dad not really want to be woken up first thing in the morning. That is a beauty that you don't get typically with a traditional ocean view balcony as you usually don't want your kids to go out on the balcony by themselves. But having that cabana as an extra add-on that is separate really adds an extra layer of comfort for your kids or for your family, which we really find as a positive for these mini suites. In addition, this is great for groups or friends that are coming together to celebrate an occasion. We would find this private cabana deck to be a really good meeting place. If we brought a group of friends on board or if we had a group 
of corporate partners or business people that come all on board and want to have a place that's a little bit more reserved and private for them to mix and mingle, whether it's during the day for sail away or maybe later at night for a, a hot tub party. This is something that we would definitely do ourselves. And having one of those cabana mini suites that are actually on deck nine can make it even easier to have access to each other's staterooms and go in for a quick drink and then come back out and enjoy the sunset. This is definitely for the socialites. And what I mean by that is if you are someone who makes friends really easily and love making friends, I feel like these cabana mini suites that are right off the private deck are perfect for you. It almost makes it feel like a home away from home. And I can see that being as a really cool, comforting, positive thing. So would we book it? I think I've given that away, absolutely. These are the way cabana cabins are meant to be made. Thank you, Princess Cruises, for giving such a good, innovative way of doing these types of new staterooms. But that's our thoughts. What are yours? Let us know in the comments below. Would you book one of these cabana mini suites? Or are you booked in a cabana mini suite today? We want to hear in the comments below what you have to say. Once again, please remember to subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up, and until next time, see ya!